The personal health budget allocates AD with about 12 hours for personal assistance. I do eight of those hours, and in that time we incorporate hospital appointments, shopping, dog walking, and also fun things as well. Personal health budget then has helped me and with my own freedom. I can keep my hobbies and enjoy socialising in other places which ordinarily, because I'm ill, then yeah, I can't get to these places or enjoy the hobbies I enjoy doing. Um, AD does need quite a lot of prompting and reminding when appointments are, what medication to take when. And we in fact have a calendar which is on the wall. I phone him up every single day whether I'm working or not. Because I've got emphysema and early dementia, the two mixed together, I get very disorientated. That is why I need someone with me when I go out for walks, because I can collapse. And Michelle does a lot of housework for me, washing up and hoovering the carpets. And if I'm not able to, to cook, then she, she cooks me things as well. We're about to take on another PA, who's also a friend of the travelling community, to help with the cleaning aspect, to get him ready for any hospital appointments that he may have, so he can come back to a clean flat. It was really important for AD to be able to pick somebody like Michelle, who comes from the community, because straight away, Michelle understands the culture and that gave him a lot of faith for Michelle to carry out the task that she was put there to do. My friends who I have working for me know all about me, they know my whole family, and they know my culture. That's why I benefit from being able to pick my own health people. Like. As a friend, Aidy was always full of life, really happy, absolutely enjoyed being a traveller. When I came on as a PA, he, he was quite down in the dumps, felt separated from his community because he lived in town. They were obviously slightly out of town. Since I've become a PA, his involvement with the community has, has helped him so much. He's just got a new zest for life. He can do social things now that, that he couldn't do before and it's brought him and his community together. Traditionally, people have the skills from within the community to be carers and to carry out the work of a PA, but haven't perhaps had the confidence to do so in the past. And the way Michelle has blossomed into a fantastic carer and a very, very efficient PA, it sends a really strong message out that other people within the community can do this as well. we'd been called out as part of an eviction and it was clear that Adrian was not very well. Often gypsies and travellers have problems just basically accessing mainstream services like registering with a GP and therefore often they will only get care by using A&E services. So we were able to link him in to other services and then we could start the discussion about perhaps getting Adrian a personal health budget. Service users have said to us in the past they'd like to take on a personal health budget but one of the big barriers for them is becoming an employer and taking on those responsibilities, particularly if you've got a lot of other things happening in your life. So we can help you choose your personal assistant so that they are right for you and then we take the major employment responsibilities away. We do that for you. AD and I decided to go to a food project just on the outskirts of town. While we were there, he started to feel really unwell. We just stopped what we were doing, jumped in the car and came home. Then when we came back, we decided that it would be best to press the red button, which is just on the side. It connects straight to the NHS. And they very calmly set us through some questions, put his mind at rest, told us what to do, and we went to the doctors the next day. But having a carer alongside him, it helped calm him down. It helped uh, confront some of his anxieties. And he was able to make contact with the right services and use them appropriately, rather than perhaps what he had done formerly, which was attend a and &E. It means that he's using services much more efficiently and of the best quality for his needs. If I didn't have a personal health budget, my home would be upside down. I wouldn't be eating properly my health would deteriorate. And that's what the health budget is for, is to prevent that from happening. 